Sunny Mosaic customers, if you're a Mosaic customer, play 1240. Somebody's coming. Huh. This is our main uh, receiving area here, so we'll get in any uh, parts. Such a large press to be able to press these all flat. So we are buying a whole log at a time and sourcing that. And you'll see up top is the kiln drying stuff. It, ju it just came in last week. It's got a whole other week to acclimate to where it gets to this level, where it'll have about a 4 to 6% moisture level in it. Once it has that four to six percent moisture level, we know it'll, you know, it'll properly absorb the glue. Smaller glue seams there, um, but and we've also noticed that poplar varies from this darker yellow mm -hmm. to a more pure oh, white. Yeah. So sometimes, like when you're looking at that core through the shell, and that is all the same type of poplar. It's just that you know the that grain will soak up the, the minerals and moisture in, in different ways and yeah. kind of feel like it's, yeah. it's doing there. Because it's such a soft wood. Right, right. And it just moves so easy. Cool figuring in that. It has like a diagonal figuring. Yep. Which is very unique. Um, you know, I'm a uh, vintage supplier. Um, and we've done some, some moisture treating to it just to kind of help it form. And it's really mainly just the figuring of the wood. And, and how it kind of has this different look to it. Specifically because of how it reacts to the light when you turn it. Right. You get background and then you get foreground. Right. So we'll, yeah, straight ahead. He's got the first length, we'll go back to the second length and go on. And we trim every side of the panel. So even prior to going in the mold, we're going to have clean cuts yeah, on all the panels. These are our water molds here. Standard maple, but yeah. it's grown under stress. Just get a nice solid flat. Yep. Where it'll work on 11 and 3 quarters, you know, just about. I can put in. stain color then you go to add your solids and then Matt will just use that same color and do a little bursting on the side mm -hmm. and then he'll come and do that UV so that UV coat once it's cured and buffed it's just a fully hardened finish there yeah. and if you ever have a customer that scratches this it's buffable you can buff this back out and bring it back to full shine wow. so we try to 
So I'll do it in little sections at a time to make mm -hmm. sure we get it accurately on make all sure the way around. Yeah. And it's in the same spot each time. Line up like I want it to be because I'm very particular. <laughs> now, The key to doing this on the CNC is to get those gears where you see them. This is the bad idea because you got all the rocks and the bottom of your head right now. This is the thing, the first thing you can do where it sprays up right there. The spray that bump comes down and you can get that bump wheel. Basically, it's going to look just like that. I'll wear around when yeah. I get through. Oh, yeah. They're fun. They're awesome. Adding wood as far as the like grain density and the, the thickness of that wood, kind of. But uh, so it, it's, it sounds like it's great. Right? But yeah, it's got that very cool look to it. And, the, and that's going to have nickel. It's three ply maple, three ply cherry with that cortex on the outside. Okay. So it's a little different. Wow, weird. Yeah. And so Bunny Carlos cool, yeah. has the other one. Oh, nice. Of, of course. course he does. Right. <laughs> and yeah, they, they, these are the 0001s or 0000s from the 100th anniversary. Right on. For the, for the engraving. Which I thought, and that's, that's all that's awesome. from Bunny Carlos as well, of course. With your suit pocket. So, <laughs> like, you could walk into the gig with your sticks, your pedal in your suit pocket, your snare drum in your case, play both your bass drum part and your snare drum.